Hey folks, David Stewart here. Let's talk a little bit about publishing, specifically print-on-demand publishing of paperbacks. Do you pick a glossy book cover or a matte book cover? I wrote this book. I did not write this book, by the way. This is going to apply very specifically to books that you get printed through Amazon's print-on-demand service, which are often contracted out through Ingram Spark. So it's also going to apply for Ingram Spark and also for Lulu Books as well. Uh, basically the big print on demand uh, printers. This is something that you want to keep in mind for that. So the short answer, do you want glossy or matte? Long answer is depends. Short answer is you're almost always going to want glossy. Um, the reason that you want glossy is a couple of reasons, but the main one is that uh, the ink looks darker on a uh, on a glossy book cover especially black ink it floats more on the paper and therefore the blacks look blacker and the whites are going to look whiter so if you have a high contrast book cover design you are definitely going to want glossy if you have a book cover design like this that has lots of black on it um, it's going to look like a very washed out gray if you try to do a matte book cover and this is true whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction. if you're going through the portal they may see something like oh you know for nonfiction, you want to pick a matte book cover just throw that advice out the window even when i write nonfiction, you know i use a glossy book cover because it's a high contrast book cover and you're probably going to want a high contrast book cover for most things including most of your nonfiction work because it stands out more it's uh it's it looks better in the digital space where people are going to click and buy it and it also tends to look better when you're holding it in your hands. The exception is if you want to use a lower contrast book cover for something that's intended to look more academic or something like this book, um, uh, which it's a pretty good book. I'm not going to like review the contents of the book, just uses use it as an example of what a, a matte book cover looks like that's appropriate design. Uh, this is a low contrast book cover. You see it's got blue and the blue is not terribly dark, kind of fading down into these neutral tones on these tombstones with just, you know, red and blue. It's a very simple and very functional and very good book cover design. And there's lots of good design in the, in the, um, in the letters. Your letters can actually do a lot of, of work for your design if you're designing a book cover, but just white and blue, it, it works very well um, for this kind of thing. So if you have a low contrast book cover design, the matte tends to look pretty good. Uh, it, it, will, it will make it look like a soft, neutral kind of book. Um, for most other things, if it's high contrast, you're gonna want glossy. It's gonna look a lot better. The blacks are gonna look blacker. The whites are gonna look whiter that's what you actually want. Um, now there's one more thing that I don't like about matte book covers. It has nothing to do with this book or this design. This is just an example of what print on demand uh, book covers tend to look like with the matte. Um, and that is the feeling of it. Uh, the feeling of the matte book covers is really quite disgusting. That's the best way I can do it. When you hold one in your hands and you feel it underneath your palms, it's almost like a dirty, it's not like a dirty chalkboard. It's almost indescribable. It feels waxy, like a waxy, dirty chalkboard is the best way that it feels. It doesn't feel very good. I do not like the feel of these books in the hands. And so for that reason alone, I would probably never use a matte book cover personally with print on demand. So the thing is a lot of people have matte book covers uh, and, that are from like bigger, you know, different printing houses, like had nice matte jacket that looks nice with some you know nice watercolor or something like that and it all looks very soft and, and nice and it feels great in the hands that's not what you're going to get with a lot of the print on demand stuff you're going to get this kind of icky feeling and you know unfortunately i have a number of books that like i have graphic novels that come in hardback that have this feeling on them where i just don't want them in my hands i want to put like a a, a jacket or i want to put some kind of thing like a plastic wrap on the outside so you don't have to feel the book cover because it feels so gross. So there's a big downside too is that it actually has a really weird texture in your hands um, quite apart from you know whatever design considerations you have to have. And again, this is not a knock on this book or its cover or its design or anything that's in it. It's just an example of what I'm talking about. This is like a good six by nine um, example. So anyway, here's another six by nine. <laughs> This is a low contrast book cover as well. It's all neutral tones and kind of yellow and orange spaces, right? Brown. Uh, but it still, to me, looks a little bit more just better as a, as a shiny book cover. Uh, I think the art tends to stand out 
more. It would look okay as a, as a matte book cover, but it feels a lot better as a shiny book cover. Um, so that's the difference between like matte and shiny book covers for print on demand stuff. When you get one of these books and you feel it in your hands as the matte, uh, with a matte book cover, you'll actually like know immediately what I'm talking about, that weird texture of it. And maybe you're not somebody that, that's like, doesn't like the way certain things feel as much as me. And it won't bother you as much, but it bothers me. And therefore, I think, you know, some of my customers might actually be bothered by the texture of um, the matte book cover. So I tend to avoid them. Uh, generally, your artwork, especially if it's high contrast artwork, it's really going to pop if you have something that's a little shinier, whether you're doing a hardback or you're doing a, um, a paperback, whether you're doing a jacket or not. Most things with art especially things that have dark colors in it, it's gonna pop a lot more if it's on that shiny paper because the ink tends to float a lot better. And that's also gonna be true for printing your interior art of whatever you're gonna do. So if you're using shinier magazine pages, it's gonna have a high, higher contrast look. The ink's gonna float quite a bit better versus um, if you do like regular paper that soaks up the ink, all the blacks are gonna to turn to gray. If you're doing a low contrast art that's like watercolor or something, that's gonna look fine with regular paper, paper that absorbs those darker colors. Um, but if you're doing something that's high contrast oil paintings or just I like higher contrast art in general, like modern comic art, it's better to have the shinier paper for whatever uh, printing you're having to do. So hopefully that gives you some information. If you are an author and you were thinking of, of printing with um, print on demand applications and you're wondering, should I do this shiny book cover? Should I do the uh, matte book cover? I would recommend the shiny book cover for almost everybody, especially if you have a high contrast book cover, which this is a high contrast book cover design. By the way, this is a book that I just put out the other day. It's called The Wasting Desert. Technically, I put it out last year as part of the Krampus Christmas collection, which is somewhere behind me. Um, but I thought I'd do it as a nice little one-off horror, fantasy horror book for October. So you can check that out. It's 99 cents for the ebook, or I think the paperback is $4.99 or your regional equivalent, depending on where you're buying it. Hopefully all the different Amazon sites have it populated by now, but you can check it out. It's called The Wasting Desert. And uh, anyway, hopefully this is helpful for you guys who are um, looking to maybe publish a book in whatever capacity. Um, and make that decision based on what kind of artwork you have going on. So thanks so much, and I will see you guys next time.